Once you're done installing Arnold, we need to add it to our Katana launcher script so it's available inside Katana. The Katana specific entries are already explained in our launcher script video. So let's focus on the Arnold ones. Arnold for Katana or K2A ships with an example launch script that includes all the Arnold specific environment variables. Let's copy and paste the data to our launch script and make some customizations. The solid angle license variable should be set to your license file path or the port and license server for Arnold. We'll ensure Arnold is set by default by adding it to the default renderer variable. Next up, the K2A home variable needs to point to the K2A root install directory. We then need to append the bin directory inside it to the system path variable. Now to make sure all the Arnold nodes and resources are available inside Katana, let's append the K2A root directory and the path to the Katana USD Arnold directory to the Katana resources environment variable. And now finally, to make sure the Arnold Hydra delegate is loaded, let's add the path to the USD viewport directory inside K2A to the fnpixar plugin path variable. And we're all set. Let's make sure the file is saved with a bat extension and then launch to start Katana with Arnold. We can verify that Arnold is loaded in the console window. You should now see the Arnold nodes in the tab menu. Let's now look at a sample Arnold scene setup. When we dive into a network material create node, we can see the Arnold materials. If you've worked with Arnold before, you'll see all the familiar material properties. You can create an Arnold shading node and turn it into any of the available nodes based on what you need. Or you can also filter to find specific nodes. If you launch Katana with multiple renderers loaded, you can switch to the renderer specific nodes by pressing shift tab and selecting the renderer you want to work with. For lighting in the Gaffer 3 node, you can create the Arnold lights as needed. And all the available parameters are listed under the Material tab. You can also create the lights in the viewer using the Artist Lighting mode in Katana. The Render Settings node is where we will set up the render camera, the resolution, and even the render engine we want to use. But since we already set our default renderer in the launch script, it's already selected here. To make adjustments to the render quality, we can use the Arnold Global Settings node where we can adjust render samples and anti-aliasing settings, amongst other things. Finally, Let's look at setting up AOVs for Arnold. Let's start by creating the Arnold Output Channel Define node. This node will allow us to set up a channel we want to render as a pass. Let's set the name and channel parameters to diffuse. We will describe the information we want to extract into this channel using a light path expression. Let's click the help button here to go to the documentation and find out the exact expression we need for the diffuse channel. Let's copy the expression for diffuse and paste it in our parameter in Katana. Next, let's tell Katana about this by creating Katana's render output define node. Let's set the output name to diffuse and select Diffuse in the channel dropdown. I've gone ahead and created some more AOVs using the same method. Let's create a Render Settings node and make sure all our channels are enabled to show in the Monitor tab. We can ensure this by checking all the outputs available under the Interactive Outputs parameter. 
We can also just select all to ensure every AOV gets sent to the monitor. Now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and render. We can now see all our AOVs in the monitor tab. You can choose to create a life group out of this AOV setup for easier reuse and distribution. Once a life group has been published, you can load it in whenever you need the setup. Life groups can be used to publish any groups of nodes and is an efficient way to collaborate with other artists. That wraps it up and now you can get started with Katana and Arnold and begin to explore.